Welcome to Light Talk. Hi everyone, Judy here. Thank you for tuning in. If you don't know, I upload one video to this series each and every week. My friend, have you heard of the ghost town Palisade? Yes, it's originally called Palisade. Their community was founded in 1868 as a station on the Central Pacific Railroad in Nevada. As a transportation hub for many, many camps, Palisade population expanded quickly. They have built commercial stores, hotels, saloons by the end of 1870s. In order to boost tourism, the town became a site of an elaborate house during the early 1870s. Speaking of promoting hoax, do you remember the famous showman P.T. Barnum and the modern-day Barnum, Jamie Mawson, who are remembered for promoting hoaxes? If you haven't watched, those videos, and you would like to know their stories, please check the links in the description box. So, the town palisade promoted hoax back then. Whenever a train arrived, the residents would stage rampant gunfights and bank robberies. The tourists didn't have the knowledge of the hoax except the residents. The town had its good days before 1885. After that, the mines there declined. People began to lose jobs and started to move out. And then the town was owned by an Atlanta's businessman's relatives since the 1920s. And in 2005, he sold the entire town I auction. Yes, the town palisade once was a transportation hub, now is a ghost town. It sounds sad, right? Yeah, I feel the same. But my friends, you know, the world never stops changing. The societies never stop changing. If you noticed, you'll find that during each and every big change in the country, many people from one or more classes will lose their benefits, even status. Yes, there will be sacrifice of some people's benefits whenever their social progress taking place in the country. Meanwhile, there will be new opportunities, new jobs, new positions, even new classes. My friends, we are now living in this modern world where things change very fast, faster than before, faster than the Tang Palace's period of existence. So what should we do in order to live well during the constant changes? I personally think that we can't stop our block the changes. So we must change ourselves, which means we should never stop learning new things, making sure that we keep pace with the times. What do you think, my friends? Okay, my friends, in case you don't know me yet, I'm Judy Fay London, a fan now. Jack London, I'm a published writer who writes fiction and non-fiction novels and short stories. You're very welcome to visit my website, judyfeilandon.com or Amazon to read my poems and my short stories. The last one, Mr. Rob, Candy the Dog, and so on, and my latest non-fiction book, Living with the Walking Dead, a roadmap for achieving your own success. I hope to see you there, and I thank you so much for your kind support. 
and thank you very much for subscribing to my YouTube channels, Judy Fay London and Judy Plus. Judy Fay London is a comprehensive channel, while Judy Plus is a channel that talks about interesting discoveries in the world of science. Thank you for watching, and my friends, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. Thank you.